parking lots right there. You turn, you go right past the wedge pond sign. This is the trail. Get to the first picnic table and you just cross over. If you head down to the right, you're just going to end up at the pond. But you cross over at the picnic table and you've got an obvious kind of gravel trail here. You head across the gravel trail and you'll see immediately on the left a trail heading into the trees. This is where I believe you want to head. So for the initial first while, this is what you can expect. Just lots of meandering trail through the trees. One hour into the climb right now, and you can see Wedge Pond down below me there. Pretty straightforward. Um, you do get to one little junction right early on. You have to take a right instead of a left. And then basically at that point you get to the drainage and you just follow the left side of the water until it disappears into the trees. Trail's pretty well worn. Well, just about time to put the helmet on. Across this way and then go up over there. Just came from over there. Once you gain the rock at the top of the grass, you just traverse, you side slope here until you get around here and then you sort of angle up. Well, just making my way up the steep, I guess, north side. No one else on the mountain. I'd be figuring I have about 10 minutes up to this uh, top ridge here before I get to the crux. Should be roughly two and a half hours from the parking lot to this top ridge. Wow, is that ever beautiful. Very fun ridge. Wow, super fun ridge. Well, just walk down most of the east ridge of the wedge. I'm just going to head back farther to the west side and go up the crux just down over there. Gotta watch your footing on here, but this would be moderate. You know, maybe a difficult section at the crux is about it. So 
So I came up down through here. I did the east ridge all the way to the summit and a little past. And now I've just come back. This section here is considered the crux or the hard part of this climb. Uh, it actually looks better than I thought it would. Uh, so we're just going to head up here. I'll keep the camera rolling. Now consider this the crux because if you fell either way, it's probably game over. You've just got to be very intentional with your holds. Make sure every footing is good because you don't want to roll off this thing either way. See what I mean? people find it a little more intimidating going down this crux it doesn't look that bad okay so we're gonna go down here the crux section heading east just got to really take your time Make sure your holds are really good. This last part narrow is pretty good. Quite a drop down there. But lets you know you're alive, that's for sure. section maybe a little awkward to get off it but take your time and that is the wedge <laughs> 